No. No. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No. 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 Hell no. 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 No, God. No, God, please, no. 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 How about no, you crazy Dutch bastard? Nine, 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 nine. No! But why do I think this? Well, let me tell you, Ubisoft, or anyone else that stumbled across this video, but mainly you, Ubisoft, you game ruining, unimaginative sacks of sh. Well, let's start with Blackbeard, or at least Ubisoft's Blackbeard, because this isn't really Blackbeard, is it, Ubisoft? Where's the villainous pirate that wants to murder, pillage, rape, destroy, burn, kill, slaughter, molest? You know, the standard Blackbeard, the one that is evil. Because he's fucking not here, is he? Here is Ubisoft's Blackbeard, everyone. For amongst all the gentlemen of fortune sailing these West Indies, he ranks amongst the most clever. Such nice compliments he's handing out there. What did Edward Kenway do? Give him a blowjob below deck? Wouldn't surprise me in the slightest. This Blackbeard looks like all the pillaging he wants to do is on a young Gary Glitter's butt pipe. This Blackbeard looks like after a hard day sailing he'd like to cuddle up on the sofa whilst giggling profoundly with his fucking teddies pretending he's Bella fucking Swan. Here's some pictures I found on the internet of the right Blackbeard, if you will. Does this guy look like he'd admit that he's not top dog on the seas anymore? There was a time when I thought myself the deadliest scourge of these seas. <laughs> yes, I may have ran out of tops to wear, but that is irrelevant. Going back to the initial intro of this video. No! Ubisoft, if he's on your crew and not a rival captain that you have to fight against, this will happen. Just carry on, shall we? Right, so now you're just going back on all the other games as well. Because the assassins are the fucking good guys! Are you telling me that the assassins gave training to this murderous fucking pirate? Because that's what it looks like. In every previous fucking game, you desynchronized if you kill two fucking people. Apparently, they're innocent. So, I can be a pirate, but I can't be an evil pirate. You might as well dress Edward Kenway up in this outfit, okay? You're better off hoping that your targets have a fetish for blonde, scruffy pirate whores because killing someone to get where you want is fucking impossible. Just wait for their midlife gay crisis and then shimmy or pounce or waltz over, whatever, however the fuck a gay pirate moves and then smother him to death with your addiction to Justin Bieber. Speaking of assassination techniques, what happened? This is a sneaky assassination. Why do you not join us, brother? Is there something wrong? carefully, right there in the background, you'll see that about three people see Edward assassinate someone. 
I mean, I'm no detective, but an eyewitness has got to be pretty easy to come across when everybody saw him do the crime. Is he hoping that all the onlookers are blind? He couldn't have done it himself. He'd have desynchronized by the third fucking eyeball. For a game of Assassin in the title, you're not doing the best job, are you, Ubisoft? I mean, I understand, Assassin's Creed games for a long time have been becoming a lot more action-y, you know, more stab, more kill, more take on an army and still somehow survive. But this... really... Fighting like a devil, dressed as a man. I understand, you have to cater for your audience, but come on, there's not that many Call of Duty fans. The next thing that's likely to, and probably will piss me off in this upcoming game, is the cities. What happened to the days of grand architecture, awesome buildings, streets that you could get lost in for hours and enjoy every minute of it? Oh, but what game could you do that in? Get lost for, have fun just looking at scenery? Assassin's Creed 1, 2 and 3. Luckily, I can tell you what happened to these epic cities that would leave you in awe. They died. The brief look we got at a nice little tropical town was underwhelming, really. These. The problem with these towns is just that. They're fucking towns! It's not Rome, it's not New York, it's not Jerusalem, it's not even Venice! It's a scrawny little tropical island where all the pirates can go to support Team Edward or Team Jacob, end up crying over the differences, hug and then talk about their feelings and Okay, enough. Pussy! So now I'm getting really pissed off, let's look at the video itself. I seen him clear the deck of a Spanish galleon like it were nothing. Wait, what? He killed four people? If you're that impressed, Blackbeard, what did you do when you were the... The deadliest scourge of these seas. Did you give someone a bad look? Fart in public? Not say please and thank you after buying your fucking cutlass? Jesus Christ. But no, I'm sure Blackbeard will act really hard and be badass when it comes to Edward Kenway's private affairs. And even I dare ask. Wait, not you. The pirate's been licking his ass all video and clearly wants to raid his stern. For those of you that don't know, the stern is the rear of a boat. Here's a helpful diagram. Well then, Blackbeard, his private affairs must be some really serious shit. Or as you would put it, some super duper ethereal stuff. Oh wait, no, just picking up some bitches on the way to his boat. Obviously, that's Blackbeard's worst nightmare, because all he wants is these guys. And even this guy. So I think I've said enough. I think Ubisoft have done enough. So post in the comments if you think this game is actually going to be quite good, quite bad. Quite mediocre, average, randy. Wait, randy? If you enjoyed this video, give it a big old thumbs up for me. Every little helps, as Asda or Tesco's or some supermarket would say that I cannot recall at this current moment and die! If you want to see me rage more in the future, give it a thumbs up as well. Thank you, everybody. You've been fantastic. I've been raging. Black as